Hi guys, I'm Adrian Bono and welcome to another edition of Trending Now, where we, you find out about important Argentine news by the way they were reflected on Twitter's trending topic list, also known as the lazy way. Before we begin, let me remind you that in case you haven't noticed, it is still summer out there, which means that important people like football players and the cast of Bailando por un sueño and I guess to a certain extent, politicians are still hanging out at the beach, so there's not much to talk about on Twitter except for the weather or Shakira's new baby, who she chose to name Milan or Manchester United or something like that. One of those. But fret not, because there's always something to talk about in this country. Hence, we begin with trending topic number three, Santísima Trinidad. Nope, we're not discussing religion today, so don't freak out. The Super Holy Trinity, that's the name in Spanish, is a proud worship that once took part in the Malvinas War in 1982. Now, remember this. Yep, that was two weeks ago when the Libertad was welcomed with open arms in Mar del Plata after heroically doing nothing for two months in Ghana. But alas, its younger, uglier sister did not get the same treatment. Two days ago, after being decommissioned since 2004, the Santísima Trinidad capsized all of a sudden and sank. Whoops. So understandably, people were upset and took to Twitter to complain. Even British Royal Navy officer George Blakeman was offended and tweeted about it, saying it was careless and this is a vessel that I imagine could have tried to kill him once. But don't be so fast to jump to conclusions because that ship may have been ready to be dismantled and have its pieces sold on eBay, but that doesn't mean that we weren't looking after it. No, sir. Defense Minister Arturo Puricelli said he was ashamed of the incident, although he warned that he suspects foul play or sabotage and that authorities were definitely going to look into it. The government also said that as soon as the tide goes down, they will fix it and make it float again. So wait, we're gonna fix it so we can dismantle it in a dignified manner later. Doesn't really make much sense, does it? Next. Trending topic number two is what your worst nightmares are made of. Safe pesos. Unless, of course, you get paid in dollars. While touring Southeast Asia with President Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner, the most polarizing figure in politics, Domestic Trade Secretary Guillermo Moreno, said that the US dollar could reach a 6 peso exchange rate by the end of 2013, since he considered an 18 to 20 percent devaluation a possibility. Regarding his much maligned import barriers, he assured that the global financial crisis will begin to see the light at the end of the tunnel by March, for which restrictions will remain in place until June. As international prices stabilize, the government will have a more relaxed stance on imports control. So there! Very soon you'll be able to buy every copy of Twilight you want on Amazon. Too bad with a 6 peso exchange rate, chances are you'll have to sell a kidney to buy them. Next! And finally, we reach trending topic number one. If Macri were president. Yep, the cat is out of the bag. After keeping us guessing for some time, Mayor Mauricio Macri finally admitted that he thinks he has what it takes to be president, which means he will be running in 2015. I feel I can be president, I can put together a team that hasn't been seen in Argentina since the Frondizi administration, I have a lot of business experience because of my years in Boca and my experience as mayor. I think I know where the world is heading, he said. He also criticized the Fernando de Kirchner administration, saying that the government doesn't want to see the city prosper. And that's all for this week. Make sure that you can catch us again next Thursday for more information. In the meantime, you can follow us on Twitter and Facebook and check our website, buenosairesherald.com. Have a good weekend, and I'll see you next week. Ciao.